Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into Spring Boot application 3 layer architecture. Well, we are going to use 3 layer architecture in our Spring Boot application. Well, let us first take a look into what is 3 layer architecture. The 3 layer architecture is a common architectural pattern used in Spring Boot applications to organize the code base and separate concerns. It promotes modularization, maintainability, and scalability by dividing the application into three distinct layers presentation layer service layer and data access layer well in spring boot application three layer architecture provides three distinct layers presentation layer service layer and data access layer next this is how the three layer architecture looks in a spring boot applications we have presentation layer service layer and data access object layer well let us begin with presentation layer well the presentation layer is also called controller layer or web layer. The presentation layer is responsible to process the incoming HTTP request that's sent by the client. Well, in Spring Boot application, the presentation layer is implemented by using Spring MUC controllers. The Spring MUC controllers are responsible to process the incoming HTTP request and process that request and send the response back to the client. Next, service layer. Well, the service layer basically contains the business logic of the application. In Spring Boot application, the service layer is implemented by creating Spring managed beans by using at service annotation. Okay, so basically the service layer contains business logic of the applications. Next, we have a DAO layer. DAO stands for data access object. So DAO is basically design pattern that allows us to create a separate layer that encapsulates the database related logic. And DAO layer is also called the persistence layer or the repository layer. In a Spring Boot application, we use Spring Data JP or other ORM frameworks to implement the DAO layer or persistence layer. And this DAO layer is responsible to talk with the database. So, three layer architecture is one of the commonly used architecture patterns in a Spring Boot applications to organize the code base and separate the concerns. For example, whenever we create a Spring Boot application, will create three packages with respect to three layers. For presentation layer, we create a controller package and within a controller package, we keep all the Spring MUC controllers. Next, for service layer, we'll create a service package and within that we keep all the interfaces and classes related to service package. Next, for DAO layer, we'll create a repository package. Within that, we'll keep all the Spring Data JPA repositories. All right, so we'll see how we can create the packaging structure with respect to three-layer architecture in upcoming lectures. Alright, so this is all about using three-layer architecture in a Spring Boot application. Alright, great, I will see you in the next lecture.